Okay, what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're here for skipping Loafer episode of five. Last episode, Mitsumi uh, kind of got a little bit closer with Takamine and showed her that um, being so uh, attentive to a schedule and hyperactive about the schedule and whatever it may be, is not everything in life uh, at, at the end of the day. Um, and then uh, we also got uh, um, some good moments with Shima, kind of learning about his past. Uh, about, well, a very, very baseline version of his past and how he used to be an actor and how he just doesn't want to do that anymore uh, and that it was really only for his mom and he never actually enjoyed doing it at the end of the day. We got that super sweet story with me to me and Fumi, how Fumi took her out when she had kind of locked herself away to study for the entrance exams. Fumi had kind of taken her out and uh, taken her to get some food and that actually made me a little emotional. It was so sweet. Um, but yeah, the whole thing with Takamine and and um, just, the, just that whole message there was so well done at the end of the day. And it was overall a very, very good episode with a bunch of great moments. And I hope we can continue up the streak because through four episodes, I've absolutely loved this show. I've had no complaints in the slightest. I love Me to Me. I love all the cast, honestly, even, even the red-haired girl who we've only seen a little bit of. I feel like there's definitely a lot more to her and we'll probably get more of her character as we continue out through the rest of the season. So I'm super excited to see how everything goes at the end of the day. But per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord. Links are in the description below. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime, past anime, current manga, and past manga, and have non-anime conversations as well. And as far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all of my reactions, so feel free to check out either of those of your own will. But now, without further ado, let's hop straight into Skip and Loafer, episode 5. Mm, she writing them a letter or something? That's right, midterms are coming up, which is big. Makes sense. Yeah, to be to be at a very hardworking competitive school and they were saying she she got number one on the entrance exams and top twenty. Also the number one I have no doubt is partly in case due to Fumi's help. Uh, that that definitely had an impact there, um, but then also still top twenty on some of the tests and stuff. That is very impressive. May fourteenth, Monday, first term class match, tennis, badminton. Okay. Class match committee, Motobayashi and Koshino. School only runs half the day during exams, but we're not allowed to practice after school. Okay, so this is so. So is this like class wide? Sports competitions, kind of like a sports festival? I don't know, I, I guess like every class assigns different people to different sports and all the classes compete against each other in their a in, in their year groups. That'd be interesting. I just gotta say, Japanese high school seems so much more fun. My high school experience was shit. <laughs> it was nothing fun about my high school experience. And like Japanese high school just seems like it's so much fun with all these extracurriculars. You've got clubs to join. The club options in my high school were, I mean, there was clubs, but I, I, it was nothing to the extent of how far Japan goes with them. And then you do stuff like this where you have like every class, and you can only do stuff like this in Japan for the fact that in, in America, in high school, you have like seven to eight classes a day. In Japanese high school, you spend the entire day with one class learning different subjects in said one class. So you can only do stuff like this where you have a uh, year wide. So like with everybody in your year group, you have different people from your class play different sports and you play against different year groups. You can only do that in Japan because you're with one class every day. It's the only reason stuff like that works. I truthfully believe the Japan high school method is better than, than the American high school method. American high school just fucking sucks. Just all around. <laughs> That's just my opinion on it, at least. I'm sure there's people who really enjoyed their high school experience. Okay. Okay. Oh, that pent-up exam stress. Okay, so basically what she said here was... Uh, team practice sessions will have to wait until after exams. Okay, so we take the midterm exams, and then we start focusing on this, sec on this section here. So then we do all the, the athletic events afterwards. Damn, everybody's getting all hyped up. 
That's good. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. Uh oh. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, Mitsumi and Yuzuki are in volleyball, huh? She seems very passionate about hating this sports event. Yeah, that is. She's not good at sports, is she? I don't know if that's surprising. I don't, I gotta say, I don't know if that's surprising. Sorry to tell you, me to me. <laughs> you any good at volleyball? I'm sure you could ask Yuzuki. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> yeah, something she's actually good at. <laughs> what, you could get used to being around Shima? It's gonna. It's gonna. Okay, I thought it might hit. Yeah, okay, I was gonna hit her in the face. I knew it was coming. Well, practice makes perfect, they do say, so. You just gotta keep practicing. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of sweets. Yeah. <laughs> a girly girl's lunch. Uh. Mm. I know the feeling. しまくんはやっぱり優しい人みたい。ラッキーだったね、ヤクラさん。うーん。Well, okay, I'm glad we're getting an episode censored around here. A cen censored centered around her. That's good. I'm glad cuz I I've been saying for the longest time I don't like her, but I know there's something else behind the scenes going on that's making her act the way she is, and it's clear she's just terrified of putting her actual self out there so she puts up all these walls to uh make her make the perfect image of herself like she said about the eating less food because she gains weight easily which god damn does that resonate <laughs> she seems to really not like me to me because it's a to be fair i don't think it comes super easy i mean the things that she focuses on might come easy for me to me i i guess but me to me if you look at it me to me is one of the hardest workers you will probably ever find like she de devotes so much time to her to her school and her studies which that is her strong suit the other stuff like athletics here does not come easy to her uh, but but the things in particular that maybe she is focusing on, like the eating and uh, whatever it may be, of course, to her, they look like they all come super easily. Because the, they might. Everybody's different. He's actually doing pretty good now. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Got hit right into her, Jesus. <laughs> her face! Yep. 
and she just and and she, she just got totally ignored there totally ignored i like that though she got pissed off that they ran into her and she went over to defend her in a totally me to me fashion and the fact that she was obviously super fucking nervous to say it with this face she made let's see right here <laughs> obviously she was super nervous to go up and talk to third years because in high school there's nothing there is literally nothing more intimidating in high school than being like a freshman and talking to like a senior that is one of the most intimidating things ever uh, and so, but she went up and did it to defend her because she got hit and they just pushed it off like they didn't do anything <laughs> Oh, hmm. I think I see maybe where some of her feelings came from. <laughs> Damn, kicked him out. Good thing seemingly the president came in and kicked him out. Oh god. Anyway, it seems like maybe... Just going off this scene alone, maybe she was bullied by these, like, kids back then? It's back, I haven't had this feeling in a while, huh? Hmm, maybe, it's clearly, yeah, it's like I said, it's like I've been saying over the episodes, there's clearly something with her past that has led her to be this way. And, um, clearly it looks like maybe she was a little bit bigger and maybe that was a point of bullying, I don't know. I That is me being very presumptuous. But she was talking about weight earlier, and it's clear that she was a little bit bigger as a child, which there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but that is clearly something that maybe has led to an insecurity for her growing up. And the reason she doesn't eat much is because, as she said, she gains weight easily. She herself said that. That's not me making any claims or anything. <laughs> you just made the list! Uh, the list of Mika, a mental notepad containing a list of all names who dared to get on Egashita-san's bad side. Oh god, she's got like a list for this? That's terrifying. <laughs> I... <laughs> あの福田さんって先輩は格好良かったよね。走った注意してくれて。知ってる人だったの。うん。普通に名前。ああ、いや。だだだ。オッケー。あ、あ、いや。だだだ。オッケー。あ、あ、いや。だだだ。オッケー
clearly already know that. That makes that makes her character so much more relatable. Might be the wrong word, like, but like, I, I mean, you could put it that way. It makes her more relatable in a sense that I can understand her. I guess that's the way to put it. Like, I I fully understand her now. She just wants to be included. That's all she wants. Probably she she wants like a she wants a guy to pick her, which going after Shima is the wrong choice if you want that to happen. But she wants a guy to pick her. She wants wh whatever it may be because she was never picked as a as a kid to be friends with anybody. So she does all these things to be picked by people and be included. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you were a bit harsh at times. Figured she'd genuinely make her better. To be fair, that's not true, though. Like, I figured it wouldn't sugarcoat things. We literally saw her sugarcoat things earlier in the episode. Like, whenever... Uh, whenever, um, uh, uh, they were training in the beginning and she was being super honest with her and brutal about how she wasn't doing very good. And then Shima showed up and she was like, oh, you're doing so good. You're improving so much. Like, I would call that sugarcoating in my world, but, you know, I'll, I'll let it slide, I guess. Um, and then if we're, if we're going back to the other stuff she was talking about, if I remember, I'm trying to remember correctly what, what her exact words were in these scenes. I remember she told her in this one, I, I, I believe, something about like not letting Shima be friends with her, get to her head or something like that. I can't remember what it was, which I actually do think that was good advice because um, Mitsumi was kind of getting ahead of herself and maybe thinking that Shima had like feelings for her or something because I don't, at this point, I don't think that's what it is. I think Shima and her are just very good friends at this point in time. Um, maybe he has some, he's, he, maybe there's an interest there, but I don't think it's like romantic feelings at this point. So I do feel like her telling me to me to ho ho slam on the brakes there on getting to ahead of herself was good advice. Uh, and I, I, I do forget what she told her at karaoke. I forget what she told her here, honestly. Maybe she told her that advice here at karaoke. I, I genuinely can't remember. Uh, so I do apologize. I don't remember her exact words in these scenes. Um, but... In my opinion, I don't know if I agree with the sugar not sugarcoating things because she did when Shima showed up, but I'll let it slide. Yeah. That's fair, she's gotten a lot better at it. And... Mm. Finally being acknowledged for her, for her efforts here. How much effort she puts into things and whatever it may be and... Who's the first one to acknowledge all of that? Me to me. I mean, she in the uh, in uh, an earlier episode even told her you don't have to try so hard or something like that. I, I believe it was something along those lines, which goes exactly against her her whole ideology because she tries so hard for everything. I'm not praising your personality. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to heckle. <laughs> oh, wow, she got very serious about it. And... <laughs> We're doing a drill sergeant routine today. Wow. Shima, if, if they're, I, obviously the whole point of this show is that Mitsumi and Shima are going to become a thing romantically, but if he were to ever like Mika, the only way he would do it is if she shows her genuine self and not this, this fake is probably the wrong word because there is aspects of her real self in there, but all these barriers she puts up and whatever it may be, he's not going to like that um, at the end of the day. So he and, he, and here he sees the first uh, genuine bit of her he's probably seen and that she was talking about all, all the, be, I'm serious, I only play to win and whatever it may be. He hit her with a, you can do it. <laughs> Makoto was trying to leave. That was good. That was really good. 
I really like, I, I've been waiting to learn more about her and her past. And that's perfect. <laughs> Just meets me with the one little hair up in the middle. It's just not it. Uh. <laughs> there you go. I like that Mika. I, I like they seem a lot closer now. I like this. I like this a lot. They seem much closer now. Just from that one interaction, Mika helping her out there. <laughs> And she did keep up the thing about not sugarcoating her words. She just straight up told her it looked like trash. The soundtrack they kicked in. Oh yeah, Mitsumi! We've got Yuzuki, Mika, and Mitsumi all on the same team here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Still practice for it. That's sweet. <laughs> wow. Uh, class match boys cool. Our class got first place in our year. The boys usually suck, but they were cool out there. Good job, guys. We didn't win our match, but it was so much fun. The boys were so cool out there. Love you, class one. Oh my god, so many messages here. Uh, today was the last day of class matches. The normally stupid ass boys were so cool. I couldn't believe it. That's no fair. Although the girls were totally amped up too. Let's aim higher next year. 30% <laughs> cooler when playing sports. Let's see if our team is actually going to be any good here. My amour? And they're all cheering for Shima. 100%. Uh, even the upperclassmen. Ooh, damn. Good shot. I wish we could see some actual basketball play because it's my sport. I like basketball a lot, but <laughs> at the end of the day, it is what it is. That was still a very good shot from someone who seems like he's not the most experienced. Yep. So even when one of the other guys scores, they still s somehow find a way to make it about Shima, which I guess that is what happens even in like the NBA when you're a superstar. If you make some 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 d half decent pass and your teammate makes a really good shot, but you're the superstar on the team, they're going to focus on the guy making the pass. That's typically how it goes. The rich get richer. Yeah, that's the perfect way to describe it is the rich get richer. Yeah, she sees how incredibly popular Shima actually is. Oh, clenching that bag a little bit there. Mm, got cold feet now. Now that she realized how popular he is, it makes it a lot more difficult to go up and give this stuff to him in front of all these people who seem to be watching him in particular. Yeah. I wonder if Shima's gonna come find her. Why do I feel empty inside? <laughs> mm, yeah. I wonder if he's gonna come find her. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hello, Kanachika. I love how he just shows up at the most random of times. Oh, damn. There you go. At least you made him some food. <laughs> yeah, she she very much could have just offered the whole team and not just Shima in particular, and then it would have wouldn't have looked anywhere near as suspicious. Mm, maybe because of that popularity, even though all the girls fawn over him or whatever it may be, or all the guys are friends with him or whatever it may be, nobody actually ever gets like super close with him. Uh, because of that popularity, they all kind of try and distance themselves and be like, nah, he would never want to be friends with me. He's got all these other people. And then that cycle kind of continues until nobody ever actually gets close with him. Uh. <laughs> he didn't see me the same way. Because he genuinely likes you. Friendly, of course, for the time being. Oh no, they're getting their asses beat. Oh Jesus! Uh. Oh, wow, so they have like a volleyball pro on their team. Oh, Christ. We're get We're get okay, that has to be a reference to Haikyuu. That has to be. That looks exactly like Oikawa's serve from early on in Season 1. In my opinion, it could be me just looking into things too deeply. That looks exactly like Oikawa's serve from like early season one. Maybe I'll put it up on screen here. Gonna make future me when I edit this do more work. That looks exactly like his serve. So maybe it was inspired by the, the way they animated that. Yeah, good luck when you're facing someone who made the volleyball team starting in their first year. Good luck. <laughs> in sport and war. No, Mitsumi's poor arms are dying back there. Let's go, Mitsumi. Oh no, not throw it up on the teacher. <laughs> the puker, but he paid it no mind. <laughs> nice! Holy shit! Good spike! Good stuff, Mika! Ah, they still lost, maybe? Damn. Hey, second place is really good, though. Let's be honest, that's still very good when you were going up against someone who genuinely plays volleyball. Like, constantly and is on a team. Oh, wow. Let's go watch. Damn, she took off. <laughs> okay, you're not making it very... Uh, you're totally not making it super obvious that you like him. Totally not. Uh. Yeah. Seems like they're all looking to the future that they they could very well become a thing at some point. Uh, something in them that you don't have. Ah, that little smile from him there. 
You know he was so happy that she came to cheer him on. Wishes he had. Maybe he sees it and meets me. She might just have it. Aww. That's the feeling I get. I like that she let him have their moment. I really like that. That is great character growth for Mika. That she didn't try to step in and do her own thing to get closer to Shima. No, she let them have their moment here. <laughs> good episode. Seriously, this show is too good. Great episode. I, I This show is so good. <laughs> this show is so good. Every episode, I continue to like it more and more. And I like Mika a lot more now as well. As we finally got her past, and her and her and me to me kind of at a heart to heart, which they have needed for a while now to really uh, hash hash some things out. Even though there wasn't much quote unquote drama there, there were still some feelings that needed to get get put out there and whatever it may be. Um, and just uh, overall, seeing a little bit more of Mika's past was very quintessential in understanding her as a character and understanding why she acts the way she does. And it makes total sense now. And I appreciate that she was able to look, look, kind of look at me to me and uh, to take things in and let them have their moment at the end of the episode. And overall, just this show is so good. It's so good. I seriously love th this show's awesome. It's. It, I say, I've said this in every episode, I feel, but I really just, the messages of this show and all of the above are so good. It's so much fun. It's just such a fun show to sit down and watch at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, I don't think I have too much else to say, honestly, for this end of episode discussion. This is going to be really short. I don't really have too much to say. I said more than enough throughout the actual episode, kind of, as I was talking about Mika and her past and everything like that. This is just a great great episode overall and i'm excited to continue more we're almost halfway through this season already i have heard there's no confirmation of a season two from everything i understand you feel free to correct me but uh yeah I i'm seriously enjoying this so far and i'm excited to finish out the rest of the season but i think that is gonna wrap it up for my reaction to skip and low for episode five hope you guys did enjoy and hope you all have a good day